Hi, I'm Dr. Weiner from the Pound of Cure Weight Loss. Uh, this is a video that we've intended for our patients to watch after we've prescribed them GLP-1 medications, just to make sure you have a good understanding of what the side effects of these medications are. So GLP medications include Sixenda, Wegovi, Ozempic, Monjaro, and Ribelsis. There's a number of them. So there's a couple of different side effects that people will experience. The first and most common is nausea. And this is kind of part of how it works. It slows down your gastric emptying, it slows down the small intestine and nausea is kind of the opposite of hunger. So when we see patients having nausea, we know the medication is working well. Now I'll have follow-up videos that talk about minimizing nausea after these, but in essence, it's dose and diet. Get the right dose and make sure your diet is intact. We'll also see reflux or heartburn, almost these bile burps that patients have. You eat too large of a meal, you're going to have some significant acid reflux. And sometimes we have in the initial phases to treat patients with an acid blocker for a month or two, the majority of these side effects will go away over time. And keeping the dose low and keeping yourself comfortable through the process is really important. The other thing is hypoglycemia. If you're not eating enough, your blood sugar can drop really low. It's important to eat foods like beans that cause slow release of glucose throughout the day and nuts that have a similar effect and even some fruit or applesauce if you need to. But you must eat. You can't go a long period of time without eating uh, with these medications. And the final is fatigue. And really it gets down to the fact that you're probably not eating a lot, especially in the first few weeks on this medication. And when you don't eat a lot, you're going to have some fatigue. I've written in my first book, I talk about the Minnesota starvation experiment. Fascinating read. It tells you a lot about what happens once your calorie intake goes down. So there's a couple other side effects we have to really worry about. The first is pancreatitis. So pancreatitis is inflammation of the pancreas. This is severe, unrelenting abdominal pain. If you experience this, you have to stop the medication immediately and call your uh, prescribing physician. The second is gallstones or cholecystitis. Now, rapid weight loss will cause gallstones. We've known this for decades. I learned about this in medical school long before bariatric surgery was even remotely popular. And also GLP-1 medications didn't exist back. And so when you lose weight quickly, it'll cause you to form gallstones. Those gallstones can actually get lodged in the neck of the gallbladder and cause acute cholecystitis, which can require an emergency gallbladder removal. And so any severe abdominal pain while taking these medications, please give us a call uh, if we're the ones who prescribed you your medication. We also see a change in mood. I think sometimes people can get a little bit depressed. And again, it's from the decreased calorie intake. We see that right after bariatric surgery too, where you're just not taking very much in and your mood goes down a little bit. And again, read up on the Minnesota starvation experiment. That's what happens when you don't eat a lot. Uh, and then the final is insomnia. And some patients, because your metabolic thermostat is really revving and your metabolism is kind of pushing you to lose substantial weight, we'll see some patients struggle with insomnia. So I think that's a quick summary of the side effects that we typically see. If you have any questions, again, message us if you're one of our patients or reach out to your prescribing physician if you're not. I hope this video is helpful. I'll see you next time.